Putin is testing a Satan II missile that can carry multiple nuclear warheads. Days after the Kremlin said the use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine was out of the question, Russia tested its new nuclear ICBM. Colonel Sergei Karakayev, commander of Russia's strategic missile forces, said at a military conference on Friday that Russia recently successfully tested the Sarmat missile, also known as the Satan II. President Vladimir Putin said new ballistic missiles would make Russia think twice before threatening them. Each giant Satan II can carry at least 10 warheads and decoys and can hit European and American targets thousands of miles away. Russian defense sources have praised the missile's ability to evade interception. Colonel Karakayev also said on Friday that Russia's missile force is ready to receive the second batch of Avangard hypersonic glide missiles. Currently, only one military unit is equipped with a hypersonic weapon that can carry a nuclear warhead at 20 times the speed of sound. The report of the new missile test comes days after a Kremlin spokesman dismissed suggestions that Russia had threatened to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Dmitry Peskov said, These questions, let alone speculation, are unacceptable. It is the European capitals who are talking about this and raising tensions in this potentially dangerous region. In July, at the height of the Kremlin's nuclear attack, Putin warned that Russia would deploy a nuclear-armed Satan II by the end of the year. Since then, he has made no similar claims. Russian television propaganda has long used Satan II as a propaganda tool to threaten the West. Dmitry Kiselov said on his weekly show earlier this year that Britain is so small that it can be completely sunk with a single Sermit missile. Satan II can reportedly reach Britain in three minutes. At the G20 summit earlier this week, Moscow delegates released a joint statement condemning, in the strongest terms, Russia's aggression against Ukraine, highlighting Moscow's growing international isolation. China said this week it welcomed Russia's statement that it would not use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said after meeting with Russian diplomats on the sidelines of the G20 summit, Russia reiterated its position that nuclear war is impossible and unacceptable. This is Russia's reasonable and responsible position, Wang said.